All right, so we picked up the truck from Shrek Motorsports. I appreciate the installation. Everything came out so clean and was in super quick. Um, truck's super dirty, but that's just me. I brought it I brought it here dirty and they didn't have time to clean it. But this is it, guys. Whipple 3.0. I'll open the hood in a bit. But we got the weld wheels, 20 inch by, or 20 by sevens and 20 by tens in the rear. Uh, we do have all the stock parts in the back. If you guys are interested, just you guys just follow me on Instagram, DM me, but I have the intake manifold, the 17 inch steel wheels. I kind of want to keep them just in case I do tow with the truck. We have the airbags on this right tech lowering kit. So that's not going to be a problem. I might have to get a new hitch because this one's kind of wonky, but man, I've gotten on it like half throttle and uh it feels great it honestly does um you do hear the supercharger you do hear it more than i expectedly thought whenever i see videos on youtube and stuff like that you really don't hear it too often or you don't hear it too much inside the cabin but you hear it pretty good there we go look at that this is the first time that i actually see it under the hood um it was already late so i appreciate shrek finishing up the truck late at night for me uh him and his team justin uh and all the other guys in the shop as well so roy ray so man i'm just super excited to get along with this build um i have some other things planned for it but it's pretty much just gonna stay like this we might do a fuel system later on maybe a smaller pulley but this is a stage two whipple kit i did forget to mention that so i think it comes with like a little bit over 750 horsepower out of the box which is more than enough for what i need it's gonna be a daily i don't have drag radials so there's no point in on me putting E85 or putting a slower pulley or a smaller pulley on it because we're just going to be spinning. So what's the point in that? I'm going to give you guys some drivability reviews. If you guys do have any questions or want me to see anything or want me to race anything in particular, maybe some Hellcats, maybe some stock C7Zs, uh, hashtag <clears throat> my cousin Roel. If you want to maybe get a run in, we can. We can test them out. His brand new C7Z with like a cold air intake uh versus the f-150 with the whipple so shoot we're gonna hit the road it's nine o'clock i still have like three hours to go to the, uh san antonio and i work tomorrow morning so wish me luck uh i should have bought an energy drink so but it is what it is all right now we can actually do some in cabin driving i don't have um the stuff in the back anymore and i love my morning commute leaving my apartment it's just a beautiful drive so i want to bring you guys along and honestly uh first impressions i've never driven a positive displacement supercharger so or root style whatever you want to call it but i've driven centrif uh, centrifugal superchargers centrif centrifugal uh, however you pronounce it basically like a, a paxton pro charger um a and a superchargers those are centrifugal superchargers um i also have my twin turbo car uh, first impressions on it whenever I did step on it um, it's instant it's it's there they, they don't lie right I mean you guys already know Hellcats and stuff like that but it's giving it a I mean it's there so uh, I like it it's different it's definitely going to be a little bit getting used to right there the traction control turned on so I, I should have turned that off but it's just, it whines a lot more than I expected. Uh, all these videos that I do see online are just going to be... So we got Alan. We're back in San Antonio. I had to do the truck justice. We had to clean it up. We did that. Uh, it's all clean. 
and we actually let Alan drive the truck. Dude, yeah. Is this yeah. is this the first boosted vehicle you drive? I think yeah, this is the first boosted vehicle that I boosted vehicle that I've actually drove drove before. Okay, I know I know you've ridden in twin turbo cars and the single turbo car. This is the first supercharger. How do you how do you like supercharger? Dude, well, first of all, it caught me off guard, bro. Uh, I mean, I don't really know too much about either of them because I only driven the supercharger now. But bro, the instant power, like I wasn't expecting to get pushed back in my seat like that. I was kind of like leaned up forward, you know, all tense. Cause yeah, like, I don't want to yeah. spin, but dude, it, it was dope. It was dope. Like it's and it's so smooth too with the, the lowering kit and whatnot. And then and then we gotta we gotta take this one out tonight. We're gonna try to put it all together in one video. Uh, we're super excited about the truck that we finally have it the way we wanted it we have the cleaning supplies in here in the back but excuse the garage it's a mess i have catalogs for work and stuff and stock parts but we're gonna take out the twin turbo car tonight we're gonna let alan decide because he's actually wanting or he actually already has a helion twin turbo kit for this car a sleeper kit and right now there's a GT350 for sale here locally with uh with the Whipple 30. So does he kind of just trade in this car and get the Shelby with the GT350 with the Whipple? Does he continue working on his car? Now, realistically, I really like his car. It, it looks really badass. Uh from the wheel setup to the to the spoiler in the back, it just to me this is what a what a car should look like. You, you, you don't have to go all out. Now, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber doors I mean, and stuff like that. Yeah, That'll be later down the road, but it's like you know, this is the epitome of a Mustang. You just throw throw boost at it, and that's it. You'll be happy. You'll enjoy your car, and I don't know. I think you'll be fine with the Pilot Sport fours, honestly. If you if you have it on wastegate, like I mean, I feel like I would, especially since they're kind of thick. But at the same time, I don't really know. I mean, yeah. I do have those over there. But I just need to get tired. Oh yeah, <laughs> Alan does have these wheels over here. Let's get this box off of it. This one's just like plastic thing either way. Turn the light off. Yeah. So Alan has these. They're S80s. Uh, S81s, I think. S81s. S81s. You don't really see them too often, so they're pretty badass. They're gonna they're gonna look cool. We've been looking for the front runners on this, and we haven't been able to find them online. So if you guys know where we can get these, I I don't think they're S81s because I think not. those are the ones that look like the Bellix. The S81s. Yeah. But I have the thing so we have a plethora of parts, so we need to clean the garage. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that we moved, right? But and then we just got back from Mod Nats. I mean, like two, three weeks ago, but still, it just feels like it was yesterday. Oh, These been, I know the drive freaking sucked on the way back. But <laughs> all right, so I just wanted to film a little outro for you guys. This Saturday, we're actually going to be going to Cars and Coffee here in Six Flags, San Antonio. If you guys do want to meet up and cruise together. Uh, DM me on Instagram, DM me on TikTok, and I'll send you guys the address of where to meet up so we can all cruise together. Uh, we're gonna have my twin turbo car, the single cab, uh, some other buddies of mine, um, other turbo cars. So it's gonna be quality cars rolling in together, so it'll be pretty cool. But I just kind of want to say I'm super proud of just like being able to have a truck like this, you know? Uh, it really is a lot of work behind the scenes, uh, grinding it out day in, day out. Um, recently, just I mean, life doesn't always go the the way you plan, but whenever you do get your your rewards and your compensations for the fruit of your labors, it really does pay off. And as I say, I'm thankful uh, for having this opportunity to have a truck like this. I know it's something crazy. I know it's not like a hundred thousand plus dollar truck like a F350 Platinum or anything like that. But re you really just gotta enjoy every single stage of life, every single um, opportunity that you do get. Just take advantage of it, make the most of it, and. That's what I plan on doing with this truck. I want to bring you guys some awesome content um, and just ownership of the truck itself. It's something that I've always wanted. Um, it's so Coyote platform, just like my car, but it's in the single cab, so I wanted to do it for the culture. I'm originally from the 956 from the RGV, so uh, that's, that's what we're planning to do. We're gonna do some interior mods, some interior changes uh, to the truck itself. Um, I like the XLT. Uh, I don't. I don't really bother for the full digital dash, but I do want to do the 12 inch screen. Uh, probably do like the Lariat door panels and the Lariat seats, um, or maybe even like the limited seats because uh, they have like avalanche gray um, in them, so that'll look pretty neat. Um, it will definitely help me out if you guys can subscribe and like the videos. Uh, we're at 1,200 subs. I really want to reach 2,000. Um, I'll be posting more consistently, but I do drop about two to three videos a week or a month, so. I'll be making more content. Content this Saturday if you guys do show up. So let me know and peace out.